I know I said I was going to do Persona 2 Innocent Sin tonight, uh, but I just kind of reevaluated what I my mindset currently right now, and I'm like, I wasn't even thinking, I was thinking about maybe not streaming tonight, but I'm like, you know what? I kind of need, I kind of, it's not that I need to do it at all, I'm not like working or like, you know, doing that, but I'm like, ah, uh, no, I kind of need, you know what, get myself out of the mindset that I have in there, I'm like, I should probably do something productive. I'm like that. That's kind of my current thought right now. So I'm gonna do something productive. I'm gonna play Game Boy games. Uh, Game Boy games are fun and produ and nice and like good. And uh, Cold Steel Four is not out yet, so I guess everybody else besides myself and Polly has, has their copy. I don't yet. I'll get it tomorrow probably. So I'm gonna play random Game Boy games instead because Game Boy games are good and like. I spilled a bit of water. I'm like, oh damn it! It's one of those, one of those wheat, one of those things. I'm like, ah, bad, bad mood. Kind of hit multiple times right after the Higurashi stream. I'm like, oh no, I don't know what happened there. I was working on a nice art piece. I'm not done with it yet, but uh, I'll probably finish it up tonight after stream. Um, it'll be the usual uh, thing. But for now, we're gonna play uh, Balloon Kid. Uh, first up is on the uh, Game Boy, randomly Game Boy list, is Balloon Kid. Uh, I just picked this game up like a few weeks ago. Uh, so far, I, I this is a really fun game. Um, I played it a couple times just kind of get a good idea what's going on with it, and it's uh, it, it's Balloon Fight, but for the Game Boy. The physics are a little bit different, but we'll, we'll get into it. So I'd say, we're gonna watch, oh shoot, this kid's flying away in a balloon. We should probably go get him. It says push the start button, but I'm gonna give me one second here. Make sure my tweet went out. Did. I'll post it in that chat. Check people with something different. It's not JRPGs this time. It's a uh, balloon trip. Though I, I can... I cannot guarantee that on random Game Boy night we will look at a JRPG of some kind. Um, I that could probably happen at some point. So we're Alice, and we're in Pennsylvania. Um, that's what the manual says. <laughs> Alice, she's from Pennsylvania. As you see the pencils, <laughs> and she has balloons. And her thing is that she can hover with those balloons. Yay, hovering! Uh, we can also drop our balloons uh, whenever we want and uh, walk on the ground. Um, I'm not doing that now because I can just keep collecting balloons. As long as we have balloons, we can still fly. Uh, we don't die unless we touch like some kind of hazard or. Uh, fall in the water or we get eaten. Oh shoot, bonus stage. Into the Game Boy. Balloon. Hey, June. I, I thought I was going to do Persona 2 tonight, but I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to play Game Boy games instead. I'm in a mood. It's one of those moods where I'm like, I need Game Boy games to fix it. Uh, Cave Noir is sitting right beside my... Super NT, so that one's ready at some point, but I have my binder out. 
but I'm starting my balloon trip. Yeah, it's one of those, uh, one of those evenings. I'm just like, uh, I was actually thinking about drop, not streaming the night and finishing a little, little art thing I was working on. I was like, ah, eh, no, I, th I think I need it. I think I, not that I need to stream, it's more of a, it's less of I need to stream, it's more of just, I should probably do something productive. Less like productive, more just kind of keep myself busy. Not thinking. Not that, like, not thinking. It's more of a just, uh, just to keep my mind doing something that's good. Thinking about it. It's less thinking. It's more stewing and maybe in, in possible bad thoughts. I'm like, eh. Now let's play some Game Boy games. That's product. That's kind of productive. We'll see how far I get into this. Uh, when I played through this, I got to stage. I got to stage seven, and then died. So I'm, I'm only gonna do like one run. So I got pretty far. I think this game only has like stage eight or so stages. But it's less of a. If I if I stream, I can talk. You know, anybody who comes by, we can talk and have fun. Whereas if I'm just drawing, I might accidentally like get into like some kind of loop, like some kind of bad brain thought or something. If I work on something else, I'm like, uh, we'll see. So we're gonna go through the forest on balloons. We can look at these bugs though. We don't want to touch the bugs, though. Unfortunately. Worms. There's a worm. All the bugs. And the, and the happy trees. Those are happy trees. This game is like R&D 1's Game Boy Balloon Fight sequel. And it's actually pretty pretty good. Beehive is just in the background. And I'm not doing my black and white uh, color palette for this one. Although I typically do, but I just felt lazy. <laughs> Got both those balloons up. Touch a spike. Yeah, as long as you at least touch ground, you don't lose a life for like losing your balloons. If you fall into the water, you do, but here we go. 
fall into the water and get eaten by a fish. So Alice here becomes a snack. Alice and Mario? Oh, I guess there are, these are pipes, technically. I suppose. L little bit of Mario. Just a little bit of Mario. Like... Oh, okay, so these trees are now angry? Shoot. We need to appreciate here. One thing. There's a happy tree here. I I'm using my mouse cursor to point, but I can't, you know, like, actually show that. But there's a happy tree up in the right corner. And then angry trees. A series of angry trees. Look, I don't want to anger the forest god. The forest god from Cave Noir has given me many things. <laughs> oh shoot. Music change. Good boss fighting. Stage three's got crabs. And birds. Birds on balloons. And also blimps that say fight. They're happy blimps. And those are happy palm trees. At least. those crabs did, but they, they deserved it. <laughs> Happy whale. by a whale. Inside the whale level. Good whale. The whale itself was like a, uh, just a, uh, back, like a, just a, just a, a solid, solid color <laughs> whales. So this is, uh, it's all very good here. 
Also, yes, those are sharp up there. We don't want to have our balloons being poked by them. That's, uh, <laughs> clever. Oh, but they're gonna fall, too. There we go. There's a lot of Super Mario Land in this game a bit, I think. I, I, I believe they are the same development. They are a very similar development team, or if not, they might actually just be the same development team, I think. So I know this is R&D 1 uh, doing... Oh, wait, no, it's uh, R&D 1, I think, Pax Sofnica, I think. Doing it, but I, there's, there's a bit of Mario Land 1 in this game. I like it. I know there's an I know there's a version of this on any on a on Famicom. But it's a uh, but it's Hello Kitty themed. Oh. Yeah, there's a, a Hello Kitty themed uh, version of this game on Famicom. Like this is a North American only release, or like a, I think it's North American only. I don't believe this is Japanese release until like way later, like on the Game Boy Color. And even then, it was one of those special distributions. But I can see a little bit of Super Mario Land in this. Yo. Knocking out fire with my invincibility. Nope, it's over. I think those octopi, um, they actually bounce you up when you touch them. Which then you hit the ceiling. You don't want to hit the ceiling. <laughs> I think that's what's happened to me when I last played this game and I touched one. Oh, shoot. I don't know if I'm ready for it. Shrimp boss. Was it a lobster? A lobster or maybe a shrimp? I don't know. It's something. <laughs> hey, it's Sunday. Hey, Sunday. I posted this. I posted this uh, stream in the June in the June Discord. I unfortunately do not own Cat Trap. I would play Cat Trap though. I got hit by a fish. I would definitely pay, play Cat Trap if I uh, if I owned it. I don't though. Ah, fish. I'm distracted by good chat, which is fine. <laughs> fine by me. This is a casual game. This is a random Game Boy night, which means I can play anything. <laughs> ah! Anything that involves fish bore. <laughs> okay, maybe not just that. Am I playing? 
play a Bomberman game. I think I have one. I have one. I have one Game Boy Bomberman game. Exactly how I remember it. Yeah, this game is good. I just picked this game up like a few weeks ago. Uh, my my local retro shop, which is actually very very strict on mask policy, so I'm like excellent. At least somebody is. <laughs> they are like the only place I think I've been. I, I've not been to many places, but they're like the only one that's been like in any sort of way, like actually like enforcing anything. So I'm like, oh good. Oh, absolutely. Like, yeah. I mean, we just had a we just had a whale level. Most video games have a whale. Shoot, that was violent. <laughs> yeah. Uh, most vi video games do have at least a whale level. Like going inside of a whale. Uh, Bunk's Adventure has a dinosaur level, uh, where you go inside of a dinosaur uh, multiple times in different Bunk games. Um, actually, there are side levels in Bunk 3 of where you just go inside of different enemies. And each enemy, like, different enemies has its own set of, like, its own little mini level <laughs> when you get eaten, swallowed whole by them. I love Bunk. We, we played through Bunk on stream uh, for a uh, Turbo Graphics Night. I will bring back Turbo Graphics Night. <laughs> That'll be fun. I, I was just doing multi like, big game playthroughs. I did Majora's Mask and I did Chrono Cross. And those took a while. Especially Chrono Cross, because that took like 20 something streams, I think. Maybe, it may have been less than that. Yeah, I did. I, I could not beat that final boss for some reason. I I don't have trouble with that boss usually, so I'm like, what the heck's going on? I did die though, so I was like, yeah. I'm gonna let the game push me. Chrono Cross was a fun journey, though. Like that was a that was a fun replay. Um, I I had not played that in a long time, so there we go. Yeah, for for like if you don't know Chrono Cross and watching somebody play it, it's it's. Something. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. There are people who like to just play JRPGs. Uh, they exist. I, I am one of them. I, I will say, um, there are some who recommend um, that you can play Chrono Cross without Chrono Trigger, and that's true until, like, the very end of the game, where it just becomes uh, Chrono Trigger 2. <laughs> hey, Sayara! I decided to stream tonight, and instead of Persona, we're gonna play a game that people like. Game Boy- oh, shoot. No, I might jump that instead. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. I've not finished my little art project that I was working on yet. But um, I will probably tonight. Tonight or tomorrow. I'll, uh, I'll finish it up. I did most of the color. Uh, the base color. I just have to actually do what I call shading. But I just got mauled by a walrus. I have to do what I call shading. Which is hopefully it looks like any some kind of way decent. 
but to be fair, it's me mostly, like, practicing, like, actually doing color and digital art, because I've, like, never done digital art in any way. Art is hard. I agree. I've known way too many people in my life who've said, like, if it's digital art, it's not real art, and I'm like... Yeah, that always sounds like bullshit. And hey, it turns out they are correct. <laughs> Look, all I'm gonna say, this is a more, this is a, uh, this is a Mormon rant. Uh, they that that particular that particular group of people are always very. I've always found to be very against technology things. Sometimes, like back when I was a good Mormon boy, um, this a Mormon story. I actually owned a back in high school. I owned a Palm Pilot. I was that dork um, back in 2004, uh, 2005. Who owned a Palm Pilot? Which is a, uh, you know, it's a, that's a, uh, a digital device that had like a, you know, you could use like, you know, applications on it. You had a, like a calculator, personal planner, things like that. Uh, some of them had, you know, you had a, like an MP3 player app that you can use on it. A uh, friend and I used to like exchange apps on it. Learned to write a couple things with it too. Um, uh, however, uh, back when I was a good Mormon boy and I would, you know, keep scriptures around. I actually put them on my Palm Pilot. And, uh, this is back in, like, two... This is, like, way back before smartphones became even a thing. So, for a lot of people. Uh, and people were like, oh, you know, the thing is, technology, it's not going to work. Your scriptures are going to be the most important thing. Your physical scriptures. And then I'm like, okay, sure. <laughs> and then now we're, like, you know, back in, like, 2010. I'm dying because I'm talking. Uh, then, like, you know, when smartphones happen, everybody now has their scriptures on their smartphone. <laughs> so I'm like, do I feel viable? Do I feel... I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> the uh, art piece that I'm making right now proves that I'm no longer a good Mormon, a good Mormon boy. And I just got mobbed by Walrus again. You do get a continue, so I'm going to use that. <laughs> you know what? I will say, um, I, I keep, I actually do keep scriptures on hand just in case. If I ever need to reference something, um, I, I actually learned how to read scripture back in high school, and that was like, that's an actually important, that's actually like a really good skill, to like just have just in case. I found it. You never know when you need to uh, make a JRPG, and you need, like, first off, you need names. I pull names, for, I pull so many names. <laughs> And then just being able to read, if you need to argue something biblical, knowing, sometimes knowing, like, the order, like, how to do things, yeah, you can do that. You, uh, biblical inspiration is interesting, although I've, I've met many Mormons who've, like, stapled the Song of Solomon shut. <laughs> and I'm like, are you kidding? That's, like, the best thing. That's, like, the best thing in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Believe me, I like using crucifixes everywhere. <laughs> um, although in like uh, just to kind of give if, if I give a little bit of background here, in uh, LDS like Mormonism, the crucifix is not as important of a symbol in that at all. Like, hardly comes up. <laughs> so there, there's some fun. There's some fun ones. Um, I 
Virgin Squad a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Look, whenever they talk about bondage in the, uh, talk about bondage in the scriptures, it's never the kind I want. So, that's just, that's how it is. It was a Hello Kitty game. Actually, uh, even though Alice looks like Minnie Mouse. <laughs> it happens. Damn it. I'm probably gonna die here on the Switch games. Cause that's probably good. It's been about 30 minutes. Exactly. I'm like. Oh no, that's the bondage of sin. Oh no, I'm all about the bondage of sin. <laughs> okay, anyway, that's a game over for me. I, I did get 4,200 points, which is close enough. Um, I'm gonna switch games. Uh, so, like I said, this is a random Game Boy night. I'm not gonna change the game that's actually on there being played. I think if anyone comes in and like, oh, it's random Game Boy games, they'll probably know. So. Give me one sec, I'm gonna switch games to uh, something I select. Hmm. I'm looking at my Game Boy binder. It's a quirky game. So, actually, this is an Atlas game. <laughs> quirky. Like I said, quirky. <laughs> Word, it's called wordplay. So, we're, so first, we're just going to appreciate... Uh, Appreciate this man, this, this this tomato, this tomato with mohawk and sunglasses and tennis shoes. <laughs> Appreciate him while I change the color palette. Start with easy puzzles because I'm actually I'm actually dumb and like this game is neat because it has two different perspectives for each puzzle. Uh, diagonal view is just this uh, you know isometric view. So this is uh, called Quirk. Uh, Acclaim published it and called it Quirk. Uh, its actual name is Puzzle Boy. Um, and I imagine in a few months uh, in Japan. Uh, this week, uh, like this week, I think. But in a few months, everybody's gonna start hating Puzzle Boy uh, because this game uh, is represented in Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne as a mini game. Because uh, this is an Atlas game, and they just straight up put like puzzles from this game into uh, Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne.
and uh, they are actually like really hard puzzles. <laughs> Um, I, I think I used a guide, actually, to do that puzzle. Uh, for that specific Magatama. Because it's one of the equipment, it's one of the, uh, equipment you need to get the, uh, ultimate weapon in that game. It's pretty good, like... Honestly, I think, as far as, like, Nocturne Remake goes, or anything like that, I'm, I, I've not played it. Uh, Nocturne is one of my favorite games, like, ever, so that'd be a good replay, but I think I'll wait. I think I'm going to wait to replay that until, like, the remake comes out now. So, uh, we have two characters now. We switch one with, the, with select, because the point of some puzzles is that you have to get one into a position and use the other one to push... Oh, up. The song is good, by the way. And they're veg- all, all these characters are vegetable-themed. I, I forget what they are, but... Multiple vegetables. And there, there are puzzles with, like, four of them, too, so... Sambaba is you. You can probably see that. Uh, the Mario Land, the, the Mario Land main theme, because yeah, that song's so good. I, I I like all the music in that game. I'm never good at this puzzle. I might look at this for a while. It might might take me a minute. There he goes. The Game Boy had a lot of puzzle games. Uh, there's some there's some cool ones though. Uh, this is one of them, I think. first move I have to make, but I think I'm going to push this back. Because we're going to push this too. We don't want to push that one. okay. It, it trips me up, too. It, it, this is a... This game's tricky. I think I've already messed up. Action puzzles are pick, or, uh, pick cross. I've actually... I've played quite a bit of the, uh... The Japanese, uh, Mario, uh, pick cross game that came out on Switch. Uh, the other week, the other day, or uh, you know, like, a, a bit ago, that was pretty good. I, I've played Mario Picross on Game Boy. <laughs> the very first Wario puzzle is just the, uh, I think it's just a dot, right? <laughs> Which is that's funny. Like that, that like that's actually like funny. <laughs> that first. Okay. I always have to do that. Only solution there's that, so... There we go. 
yeah, the that game is pretty good so far from what I've played of it. I, I've played, like, up to level four or five. Like, I, I don't hate Picross. Uh, it, it is a very specific puzzle that you can solve very easily, but I don't mind them every once in a while. I like it more than Sudoku. Even though I admit Sudoku is a specific puzzle that I just don't like as much. There we go. That, yeah, I think if you want to kind of calm down to have a puzzle that's kind of familiar, makes you feel good. This is one of our... The difficulty is the uh, dif is the uh, just a different pu is a different set of puzzles per difficulty. There are two game modes though also, and I will show the other game mode. So in this particular puzzle, we actually don't want to leave quite yet. Yeah, so this would be like one of the easier puzzles. No, I think we're already starting to get to like the late. Yeah, this is like the later. This is like the latest one. I think it's the last one in this set. Sometimes you need easy puzzles, though, because easy puzzles are. They help the, uh. the process. See, I can do that. Tetris is a different is a different mindset. Um, I used to not like Tetris at all. I love Tetris now. I, I've I've only liked Tetris as I've gotten older, <laughs> which it might be weird. I don't know, but you know. Once it's like, oh wait, you just make lines. Oh, that makes sense now. Why could my dumb brain not handle that before? There we go. Yeah, like Puyo Puyo always clicked for me because it was the match. It was the matching. Uh, the, the matching part always did. Um, and Penalty Pond is also good too. But uh, the other ones never, like, uh, Tetris never clicked. I think it was just the color. I, I think it was just the colors and, like, what exactly it was. Now, my brother, uh, who's been in chat before, actually, uh, he's always liked Tetris, so. Hey, Pancho, and yeah, yeah, he is in that. Um, that's the Acclaim one. The, like, all those characters from uh, games that Acclaim uh, published, and just Quirk is one of those. I forget what the show's called now. I think about it. Uh, I'm not sure why Captain N was... I, I, okay, it was... Okay, the letter N. Okay, fine. I'll give it that one, but Captain N is completely allowed here. In this house, we love and appreciate Captain N. Alright, CSIR. I'll probably give you an art tomorrow. Yeah, this game is a back button. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll definitely have an art for you. I don't care what Twitch says. Captain N is allowed. Always. Probably. That's what I'm thinking. Like, no, I want... 
This is where this game starts getting hard, by the way. <laughs> Probably already messed up, so we can just appreciate the song. I'll probably stop at this puzzle. Because this puzzle's all this puzzle always trips me up. That's yeah. Okay. Eh. Just weird. Um it, it, I mean it makes sense, probably, but also it is just it is an algorithm looking at it, probably. So you can actually select, like, what floor you want to go on. For, like, whatever level you want. So you can actually skip to other puzzles if you want to as well. Uh, but there is another game mode in this game. I'll go ahead and show that off here, too. Uh, heading out. Instead, what it does is that you actually select how many rooms you want to do. Like, say, we'll say ten rooms. We'll switch to a diagonal. We'll do diagonal view. I'll show off bird's eye view, too, because this game is cool. And that... This is sort of a time attack mode instead. I've already messed up this puzzle. It's less of a time, it's more of a... You're timed, but not like time to time. You're... Yeah, you're, see how fast you can do it. You get points based on how fast you do it. Tomato do to lead him to this damn nation. I don't know exactly, but he he did something. He made some he made some sort of uh, enraged God angry. I mean, again, this this game does show up in a uh, SMT Nocturne. You know, I've never actually read the manual, so I don't know what the actual tomato-based lore is, uh, if there is tomato-based lore. I blame Lucifer. That's who I blame. Dante... Dante has played Puzzle Boy. That's the that, that's the real new lore. It's already messed up. Dante has played a puzzle boy. Once the puzzle comes in where you have to uh, lay down floor, a 
across, uh, you know, like, chasms. This game gets hard for me. <laughs> Virtual youth. Oh, gosh. This game is just devil make the, the tomato make cry. I don't think that works as a joke, but you know what? I'm gonna go with it. Um, I did, however, it's more of a observation of the point of Devil May Cry, is that Dante's not cool, he's kind of a dork, he's like a complete dork. That's what I got. Now, I need to, I need to go ahead and make this clear. The only things I have, I have done of Devil May Cry, I've played a bit, I've played a bit of the first game. Uh, I, I've played about, like, you know, two, three hours of the first game. Um, I have played DMC, and I have also played Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. Yeah, he is a cool dork. He is a dork. He is a massive dork, though. He is way more of a dork than he should be allowed, actually. Um... I, I actually do have D I actually bought DMZ5 for 20 bucks. I've not opened it yet, but it's there. I I will actually get to I, I do I, I actually do want to play more DMC, but I have to play two first, so you know. I do plan on playing more DMC at some point. There we go. No bonus for that room, but that's okay. DMC one's your favorite. I have a feeling that DMC one's probably going to be my favorite. <laughs> might be my favorite too. That game is cool. Uh, that that game is actually like pretty cool. Um, even though I'm grumpy and I'm just like I just I'd rather play my Musha, but you know. Luca's so, so good. I love Luca. Good. I love Luca. You got the bad ending. I've actually not done the second playthrough yet of Luca. Um, I killed Messiah at the end, and that's actually, like, where I've kind of been. <laughs> I don't know if that's a spoiler or anything like, like that, but, yeah, that, that's, I did do that. Oh, you hit max corruption. Okay. I never hit max corruption, but, like, the very end of the game, like, very end of the game, the last fight, my corruption was, like, at 97%. I was I was going pretty I, I was going pretty uh <laughs> I was very close. That was an easy one. I'm just solving these puzzles. I'm just solving puzzles left and right. I'm a tomato, and I'm doing puzzles. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
See, if I move that block in there, I can never move that square, that cross again. So I don't think that's the answer. Oh wait, no, it is. There we go. Ugh! Hey, these blocks say IQ. He's <laughs> trying to tell me I have a good IQ or something? Or maybe it's not, maybe it's just making fun of me again. There, now nobody can, nobody can escape now. hardest puzzle so far? It might be. to go. Level 2, 10 rooms. There we go. Whew. That was some quirk. I appreciate the, uh, Actually, real quick. If you pick, uh, I'll, I will show this off here first. You can also pick, you can also pick bird's eye view. And this is what it looks like instead. So if you want to look at the puzzles like this, you can, as well. It just looks worse. <laughs> Maybe it is, it's just not isometric, uh, but the, uh... The point, though, is that it's, uh... The main point of this is that they actually made sprites for both of these views. Cause this is a Game Boy, this is not like a... This is just a... Hmm. It says diagonal. Isometrics weird. Cause I know there is the isometric um, kind of view that you would have for like uh, certain puzzle games, um, and also like Sonic 3D Blast. That's what I typically think of with isometric. But I've heard the term used a couple times in, in different ways. That's why I'm just using it like that. I I typically just use it now as a catch-all. Even though I also typically think. Sonic 3D Blast when it comes to, uh, my, uh, isometric. Alright, I'm not gonna do this puzzle. Alright. Yeah, I, I, I'd say that's isometric too, but I have heard it hurt, I've actually heard it, like, other things being called isometric as well, but, eh. <laughs> that's me. Let's 
been about three. This is uh, a little different. Let's switch, let's, let's switch to this one. So give me one second, I'm gonna switch games here. Oh no, this is color. What are you doing? What are you doing, Tom? Like, look, on this cover, there's just a, this is just a Bomberman with a gun on it, so, you know, it's, it's that kind of game. Bomber Theater. <laughs> Bomber ran with a gun. This is cheating. So, Bomberman GB. 95, huh? I think this is like released way later than that in North America. But it's got Game Boy, it's got Game Boy, it's got Super Game Boy compatibility. Monster Trial and Monster Count, I can forget what these do. But I'll do it. Oh, defeat all monsters within the time period. Oh, okay, this is normal Bomberman, okay. Let's start with a two. Okay, good. Yeah, Super Game. A lot of Super Game Boy games just had like a, you know, just like some kind of border to go around the screen at various times. Uh, they could change what borders on the screen based on what's going, you know, based on like the scene in game. But um, even that's kind of rare. Like, even like Pokemon has Super Game Boy compatibility, but it's not like. It's only just like a border. Yeah. So, regular Bomberman. It's pretty normal. We, uh, blast things and then we, you know, get items. There are specific people who like Bomberman. I'm one of them. I like Bomberman. There we go. Escape that. Now we can exit. Of course. Oh, there we go. This is another power up. I knew there was another one around here. The goal is to get to the exit of, you know, do all the enemies. Oh no. Tell me to hurry up. There we go. Hunt down enemies and then just get to the end. The DS Bomberman. Oh, that one's the first one, right? The first Bomberman on DS. I think this is called Bomberman DS. I 
because I definitely remember... I played through that game in a very weird location. That was a memory. I don't have that game anymore. I wish I did. I, I, one of those... One of those unfortunate casualties of me trading in games at one point in life was a Bomberman DS. Now, Bomber multiplayer Bomberman is, like, my specific, like, multiplayer scene. I like, I like Bomberman. Um, though I, I like single-player Bomberman a lot. Um, I can see a stream of Bomberman 64 happening <laughs> at some point. Uh, even this, I like this particular Bomberman mode. I played, uh, that was the first Switch game I bought. <laughs> When a Bomberman game was announced, I was like, oh shoot, I have to actually play that now. Um, 64 is, but like 64 second attack is something. I I might play for that on stream. That would that would be a good stream game. At least to show off a bit, because that game is hard to find, and it's also like really interesting. It's got story. Um, the Final Fantasy XIV director worked on that game. <laughs> the, the current Final Fantasy XIV director. <laughs> is what I found out. I was like, oh, that explains a lot. That's why... Okay. That's why Bomberman 64 Second Attack has an Angel of Light and Shadow as the final boss. Okay. It has a it has a, a pommy. Uh which actually a lot of Bomberman games do. But um that one specifically has a pommy you can raise. Hmm. Someone stopped me from doing a Bomberman stream. Just a Bomberman stream. You have to watch me play single player Bomberman games. That sounds like the worst stream but also sounds like the most fun. Because <laughs> I'm playing single-player Bomberman games. It has elemental crystals that you use to unlock elemental bombs. Now, actually, elemental crystals for bombs isn't like a... like, just to that game. That's, that's a Bomberman thing. Um, oh, shoot. I blew myself up. I pressed up. Am I still powered up? I am. Ooh, that's new. Typically, you don't keep your power-ups. Yeah. Um, Bomberman games having elemental crystals for representing bomb elements is a normal thing. Um, I did play the Switch one. I liked it, actually. Um, I've not gone back to it to do, like, uh, multiplayer stuff, really. I've played a little bit of multiplayer on it, but I mostly play that single-player Bomberman. Th there are some people who are into it. Th that's me. I'm, I'm that person. I did go back a little bit when they updated it. Some of the multiplayer stuff. They added a bunch of different Bombermen. Like, Konami added, like, Vic Viper Bomberman. And... Uh, Simon Belmont Bomberman and Dracula Bomberman. <laughs> y you can feel how you want about that. I think that game is also on like PS4 now. Yeah. Which is kind of dumb, but it's also like funny. <laughs> I, I think there's Vic Viper Bomberman and also like a there's like a Anubis Bomberman from uh um you know Zone of the Enders. I think it's like Vic Viper from Zone of the Enders. Specifically, I don't know. I like Jehiti Bomber. Also, hi, I'm your one Zone of the Enders fan. <laughs> 
I like a lot of video games, okay? It's a, it is a mech game. It is a mech game. Um, I, there are peop- I think most people will say the second one is the better game. Um... I think you like the first game better. <laughs> actually. I actually like the first game better. Don't tell him when I said that. Even though 2 has those con has those uh, Kaneko designs, which are really good. Got those Kaneko character designs, which are really good. The uh, Shin Megami Tensei character designer. The uh, original one. For mech games on PS1. I've played a little bit of Armored Core. Um, I forget which one. Armored Core Arena, I think, is the one I've played. Enough to be like, okay, this is actually pretty cool. As far as Chrome Software games go. Um, like the mech from Software games go. Um... I can't count I can't count Vanguard Bandits as a mech game because it's a strategy RPG. I guess, but it's a strategy RPG with mechs. That game is cool. I describe that game to people as a uh, Fire Emblem Fates, but if it was good. Xenogears is a mech game. I guess Xenogears is a mech theme game, yeah. I, I think I can agree with it. Well, uh, Vanguard Bandits has branching paths uh, for its uh, its missions, so like depending on what path you choose, you will play a different set of uh, missions entirely. So that's something. And hey, look, it's a boss. We gotta fight bosses now. I will say, like, if you're looking for a slick mech game, um, the slick mech game is uh, Zone of the Enders. I think I'll count uh, Xenoblade X as a mech game. Specifically, because that game does have mechs. There we go. There it goes.
That's area one. Learned how to use the whip. Whip the bombs which have been set. To move them. We can whip now. The hideout which appear when you near. I don't want much more bomber man, it's alright. PC ninety there's a lot of PC ninety eight games that I'd be like, hmm. See that looks great. We start with, uh, start back with our, uh, small amount of, hmm, what would, what would our mech Aroge game be about, though? Look, there is a uh, there's a, there's a bit of a world that involves uh, mech bondage, which is um like mechs actually being tied up, which is uh, its own sort of thing. <laughs> Heaven will be mine. Okay, maybe 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 mine isn't good. <laughs> Sounds pretty cool. Look, there's a scene in Xenogears where the, uh, where the, um, where, where they are, the characters are crucified, but they're not crucified, like, normally they're crucified in their mechs, so their mechs are crucified, and it's kind of awesome. And also, and also Choo Choo is crucified. And it's kind of the best thing. Oh no. Did I just convince June to play Xenogears? It's in disc two. Like, that's in disc two. <laughs> game over. We're gonna look at the game over screen. Alright. June, I will send you the scene if you want me to. Um, I, I will try to find it. And I'll, uh, I'll, I'll help you out. I'll hook you up. Um, it's only been an hour and 20 minutes. Let's switch to something else here. Um, something that requires a little more dexterity for me. Uh, give me one second. Oh, yeah, you, you can probably look it up, too. <laughs> that is true. Xenogears is a long game, though. I'll give you one second. I'm going to switch to something here. Hell yeah, it's an SNK game. So, this is another puzzle game. I actually thought of my showstopper, like, just... 
just as a bit. Um, but we'll just, um, we'll do a one player single. Pick our music. Who's that one? I like that one better. This is a game that involves tile flipping. Blob one is kind of flipping tiles back, and the other, the, the bug is sort of just going around and flipping whatever it wants. It even flips tiles back. But basically, you when a match kind of tiles, if you have that, you can kind of get a whole line of tiles instead. And covered tiles don't exist. Like the, the covered tiles by the blocks actually are uh, like there's some puzzles that have you actually like, cover blocks. Oh. So the cover tiles are actually like flip tiles, uh, the ones by blocks. I won't play this one for too long because this is kind of a, this is a neat little puzzle game, but it's also kind of a simple one. It's a cool one though. It's an SNK game. That's not a uh, Neo Geo game. It's a Neo Geo game that does not show up on collections as much. Oh, darn it. I'm just gonna die. These are the movable blocks, yeah. The bug just kind of does whatever he wants. enemies off too. So these enemies are starting to get a little annoying. Basically, just you know, you're flipping tiles and making them all match. Hey, look at that! It's goofy, but it's still good. Also, Choo Choo is there. Oh, 
I have posted the choose. I, I have posted the joke, however, with uh, Choo Choo uh, before. Uh, how Choo Choo is there and Choo Choo is choosified. That's true. I, I am. Yeah, I'm. And that's why Tails of will never be in the big boy. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Juicified. It's okay. I think I did the impossible. I think I crucified Pikachu once. For our sins. Or was it Sonic the Hedgehog? I forget. Also, this song is actually, like, really good. Darn it. probably have all right there we go the sonic heaven zine by destroyer bonnie okay Amongst Christianity, you, you do find a lot of Sonic people, um, a lot of Sonic fans. Uh, you don't find as many um, Mega Man. Oh, these are Snowman now? Yeah. doing what he wants. I'm just like, I, I want to flip. Oh, that one destroys tiles, I think. Yeah. That makes things complicated. So this is Dexterity. There is actually another game mode I use on my continues. I'll, I'll show up this other game mode real quick. I like that song, so I'm gonna use that one again. So this game mode, you have actually like rooms that you have to clear. You have like other rooms to clear off the side. Like some of the harder stuff actually shows up on here automatically. Already messing up. <laughs> okay. Multi mode is hard. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna do one more game, and I actually I'm not gonna do Cave Noir tonight. 
Uh, because I got a, I got a much better idea on something to go ahead and end this on. Give me one moment. Let me introduce you the, what I think, actually, is probably the best game on the Game Boy. I, okay, okay. I don't know who he feels what about Jeremy Parrish, but Jeremy Parrish did a top Game Boy games like ever, and this is like number two in the list, and I was like, I absolutely agree with that. second I do have a camera in here uh, my my camera is a I, I've cleaned it multiple times and you know it's still there I have um I've owned this game since I think 99 <laughs> like somewhere around there actually um because I've I, I've I was this person I actually got this game for really cheap uh, back in the day though um because it is one of those ones. Let me see if I can find Remyo. There she is. Big dithering good. You can kind of see an outline a little bit. It, it's a little... I've, I've cleaned it. Um, the lighting, the lighting has to be actually like really good in a room to actually catch something with this thing. Um, and it's a little complicated, but like the lighting has to be like, there's too much light in this room actually. Give me one moment. <laughs> oh, there's a lamp. You can see the lamp. Oh, it, it cut you. Okay, you can see it. There, you can kind of see it. <laughs> there we go. Hi. <laughs> Essence of Remium. Barely, but yes, good. Good. I'm gonna try something. It's gonna get dark. You can see a lamp. Lamp good. Hi, Shadow Tom. Hi.
There we go. Right, you can make out my hand a little bit. Um, doing so. I don't think you have anything else, though. Uh, you can see my lamp, though. I do. I do have a lamp. It's right there. I forgot that I'm sound recording. <laughs> You can do weird things with this game. It's great. Can you, uh... Yeah, you can. Appreciate the, uh, other Game Boy palettes. Like, no, you can actually change the Game Boy palettes and... Like, change the colors that are appearing. The faint shape of a lamp is there. It is there. You can change whatever colors you see here. Like bright, if you change brightness too much, though, it's going to become a gray mess of whatever that is. But as you see, this game is, um, I, this menuing just kind of tells me that this is a JRPG. I think we should run. pull something up. It's not coming up. Oh, we'll try it again later. Items. Yeah, yeah time lapse. You can do a self-timer with the camera itself. Um, you can do trick lenses. You can make your game face. I already have a game face on there, so I'm not going to make one. Um, you can look at other pictures. These are like old pictures taken from like years ago on here. So like there are some family friends here from like way long time ago. I, that's a leg. That's a skull made out of Legos. It's pretty rad, isn't it? That's from like, that's from like way back then. I appreciate my Lego skull. My, like 10 year old Thomas's Lego skull. It's pretty good, isn't it? That is exactly what you think it is if you know Digimon. There's, there's some Tom history on this thing, so. That's a baby. I forget which baby that is. These are like kids walking home from school. Like actual people I know. One of them might be my brother, actually. These are like actual like pictures of from South... These would probably be like South Carolina, actually. If this, is, if this is about 2000, 2001, uh, probably too. That's a good pick. This is another good pick here. That's a good one. You see why I don't want to delete, delete these? There is a way to pull these uh, pictures off of, like, your Game Boy camera. And th there is a tool to do that now. Um, so I might get one of those. Because uh, it also pulls save data from your Game Boy games. There's some that have, like, you know, it's not, like, a good picture at all, but, you know, it's there. That look, That's actually, like, a great shot, but, you know, it's one of those. Make your entire VN backgrounds out of, um, you know, things. There you go. That's another house. That's something. I think it's a house of some kind. Uh, my little brother actually pulled it out, and he, he made that. <laughs> the, 
These are actually like more recent photos. Uh, hey, there's me. <laughs> That's me. I'm adorable. It's like a recent picture. Say hi to Tom. Tom has long hair right now because Tom hasn't gotten a haircut in a while. Yeah, this is modern me. Yeah, this is modern me. <laughs> but yeah, there's some there's some good pictures in there. You only store a certain number of pictures, but yeah. Tom needs dreadlocks. Okay, I I'm I'm waiting for something. Now Jupiter did the actual uh, camera stuff. Like, there's a lot of little references in here to like you know who's worked on the things. Like Jupiter's the camera com manufacturer they worked with. I think it's also like the e-reader one. Ooh, nice poncho. Good job. I've not played Hades yet, I though I'm not huge on Supergiant, uh, but it looks interesting enough. <laughs> it said the line. There it is. There's other ones, too. Like other pictures. There we go. Other songs. Don't be so silly. Alright. Done with shooting. So you can actually look at your album again. You know, all, like, your pictures, things. Uh, though, there's also other collections you can view. Like, there's more than just that. There's also uh, other pictures that you just kind of collect and unlock as the game goes, as kind of you do things in the game. There is a strategy guide to this game, and it's really neat. Like, the strategy guide to this game is actually, like, really cool. <laughs> there you go. I like the song too. Sunflowers. Sky. Dog. Face. Kaboom. Bigger kaboom. Pokemon. This was Creatures Inc. So it's actually that's like pictures I don't even have, but like you know you just get like this picture of Wario. Old Mario. Also like Donkey Kong. It's a uh, DK Jr. Yeah, this is such a neat. It's a neat game. It's got stuff. <laughs> you can make little animations based on what pictures you've taken. Um, Hotspot is where you set up like places to point. It'll take you to other images. So like, if you do that, you can actually like click images. It'll take you to other images that I've set up, and just yep, you know, there you go. So you can actually set those. You can set those up in like a menu. Um, I forget which one. I think it's. It's one of these. It's probably like special. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, this one here. You can also doodle. You can make small exploration game with it. You can you can doodle on it. There we 
go. Can unlock very different, uh, unlock a whole bunch of different stamps. Yeah, this is just kind of a neat, cl it's a neat package. I I'm not even done showing things off yet. Right. I think the stamps actually do have like a. Thing. You can also print images out if you have the uh, Game Boy camera. You know, you have the printer. You can actually print things out with the thermal paper, if you want to. Yeah, these menus are great. And I'm not even done showing things off yet. <laughs> Let's start. Space feed for two. Oh yeah, there's there's more, there's more to this thing. I haven't I haven't shown off everything yet. I I don't know how this got like you know through. Oh. All right. Are we ready? So I think one notices uh, this is a Game & Watch ball. Though with my face on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. I didn't know I could juggle either. But here we go. This is me juggling. Is it already 11.30? Wow. Oh. I looked at the time. I didn't see the ball. I don't want to show too much off. I, I'm not even done yet. Like. Alright. Y'all's interest. Let's do the sample. One of the samples. <laughs> there you go. change these correctly. This is a, this is an actual thing in your uh Oh, really? Oh, that's cool. So you can actually... Okay. So 
So you basically change what... No it just said, you know, you have two sounds you can use and then a noise... Then a noise track. To set what you want to do here. Um, you can do this... Of course, this is sample songs, but, uh... You can also use, um... You know, you also just do your own. I'm not very good at it. So is it a prog champ? I'm sorry. I'm, oh, no, that was it. <laughs> I apologize. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to save those beats. But I will call it quits. There's that question mark too. This is actually one you have to, un you have to actually unlock this one. Ah, give me a second. Woo! 
Ah, dang, hold on. Mm. I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on, I'm not done yet. It's a hard, hold on, this is actually much harder. I gotta do it though, I have to do it. Give me one second. Oh, darn it. Hit the wrong button. I wanna get my crown. That's okay. I'm trying to mash. I'm not good at it. You probably hear my button mashing. <laughs> I can do it. Here's a menu. I've never actually received any things. I've never known anybody else with a Game Boy camera. Who else owns a Game Boy camera besides me? Received. <laughs> this game's got a lot. Like, for just a simple camera, for like a camera, this is so much. Like, everybody gets a user ID. Um, I think it's just what you decide, uh, when you, uh, it, they just have one, like, you just decide. I forget, like, if you set it or if you have to set it. I forget. I don't, I don't even know. Uh, but it is. You can do that for received. Damn, this messed up. Alright, one more thing, though. So, if you don't have the credits unlocked, this is what you get. I, I don't want to know how many dick pics you received from the Game Boy camera. I've never received any because, as you see. But first, we'll do this. We'll stay on the screen for a little bit. That's great. I, I, I... <sighs> Rumor is that this is actually Shigeru Miyamoto. Uh, this is Shigeru Miyamoto. But I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know if that's true. I, I thought I've always heard. I've heard that. I'm not sure who this is. Or what employee this is. I'm sure this is employees. <laughs> Some of this is just employees. This is images made with the Game Boy camera. Anyway, this is this is great. However, you will you do unlock the credits actually by doing that run 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 game. Um, you unlock the real credits, and uh, we are actually going to play that song because I this is actually like one of my favorite songs. Here you go. Th now that was that. This is this. Does anybody know Mother? The game Mother. The um, the NES game. Because uh, this is uh, yeah, this is this is from Mother. This is the character creation music from Mother 2. Uh, it is also from Mother 1. Uh, 
Uh, this is uh, the preschool. This is the school in Mother One, in the uh, one of the later towns. Hey, this Phil Santop. Excuse me for being quiet on this. I, I love this song. It's Toshi Tajiri. I always thank you for your help. A lot of emotions because the uh, th this credits is really really good. Oh, Gunpei Yoko in the credits. I think this is after his death. on actually <laughs> be happy that's a, now now I've, and now I've shown off the Game Boy camera and it's it's very good. Of course, also does this. <laughs> I think this is pretty much what to end the stream on, though, because, uh, yeah, Game Boy Camera is, like, fantastic. I'll, I'll show this off again at some point. You know, just, like, screw it. We'll just put it in again. Because, you know, you can never have enough Game Boy Camera. Th this is actually, like, the cart I don't keep in my binder. Uh, this is the card I keep on my desk. I, I, I pull up the Game Boy camera to play with it sometimes. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yep, that's going to be it for tonight. Um, I'll probably stream again on Thursday, uh, just because uh, Cold Steel 4 comes out, and I'm going to play that instead. <laughs> I won't. I will not be streaming Cold Steel 4, uh, just because of where that game is. I don't think people will probably join for that. Um, that is a thing, even though I'm going to be playing it. Um, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> anyway, thank you all very much for coming out, though. Uh, it's been a great, good stream. I, I'm glad I actually I just switched to Game Boy games, because I, I needed it. Like, especially this in particular. Because the Game Boy camera is just fantastic. As are other Game Boy games, but this one's the best. <laughs> but anyway, thank you all very much, and y'all have a good rest of the evening. And take care. <laughs>